Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the fixed end moments in this beam using column analogy method. In this fixed beam, there is uniformly varying load. It varies from 0 in the point B and to W in the point A. We know that in this beam, the degree of static indeterminacy is 2. Let us remove MB and RB. You can see that from the point B, I have removed RB and MB. So the point B becomes a free end. Previously, it was a fixed beam, but now it is a cantilever beam. For this beam, we have to draw the bending moment diagram. We know that in the point B, the bending moment will be zero. Let us find the bending moment in the point A. For that, we have to use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anti clockwise will be positive. The UVL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We have to multiply the area with the centroid. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle half into BH. Here the breadth is L and the height is W. So half into L into W. For this triangle, the centroid distance towards the point A is 1 by 3 into B. Here the breadth is L. So 1 by 3 into L. L into L we will get L square. 2 into 3 we will get 6. We know that in the point B, the bending moment is 0. In the point A, we have found the bending moment W L square upon 6. Since it is negative bending moment, the diagram will be coming below the line. Since it is UBL, the diagram will be in the parabolic shape. Now let us find the centroid distances. It is a third degree parabola. For this parabola, the centroidal distance towards the point B is 4L upon 5 and towards the point A is L upon 5. But in this analysis, we only need this centroid distance which is towards the point A. Now let us make the conjugate beam. Now let us make the analogous column. We know that in the analogous column, the resultant P occurs at the distance of L upon 5 from the point A. We know the formula to find the stress at the base of the analogous column P upon A plus or minus P E X A upon I Y. Let us find the resultant P. For that we have to find the area of this diagram. We know that it is a third degree parabola. The area formula is 1 by 4 into BH. Here the breadth is L and the height is WL square upon 6. 4 into 6 we will get 24. L into L square we will get L cube. We know that it is a negative bending moment. So that we have to apply a negative sign. Now let us find the cross-sectional area of the analogous column. It is 1 into L so that we will get L. The moment of inertia IY is equal to L cube upon 12. Now let us find the eccentricity E. We know that in the analogous column the center lies at the distance of L by 2 from the point A. It is the eccentricity E. We know this distance which is L by 5. So the eccentricity E is equal to L by 2 minus L by 5. We can take LCM 5 into 2 we will get 10. 5 into L we will get 5L. 2 into L we will get 2L. 5L minus 2L we will get 3L. So for the eccentricity we have got 3L upon 10. Now let us find XA. It is the distance from the center to the point A. We know that this distance is L by 2. In this formula, we have found everything. Let us apply all of them. Positive into negative, we will get negative. 
negative into negative we will get positive we can take l inversely and then multiply also we can take l cube upon 12 inversely and then multiply we can eliminate l here it will be l square we can eliminate l cube we can eliminate 12 here it will be 2 2 into 10 into 2 we will get 40 L into L, we will get L square. In this equation, to find MIA, we have to only take the negative sign. When we add these two, we will get minus 7 WL square upon 60. In this equation, to find MIB, we have to only take the positive sign. When we add these two, we will get WL square upon 30. We have found MIA and MIB. Now let us find MSA and MSB. For that we have to look at the MS diagram. Let us find MSA. In the point A we have the stress WL square by 6. We know that it is negative. Let us find MSB. In the point B the stress is 0. So MSB is 0. Let us find MA. The formula is MSA minus MIA. We have found MIA and MSA. Let us apply both of them. Here we have a negative sign. Negative into negative it will be positive. When we add these two we will get minus WL square upon 20. Let us find MB. The formula is MSB minus MIB. We know the values of MIB and MSB. Let us apply both of them. Finally for MB. We will get minus WL square upon 30. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.